What's going on guys, JSGC171 here and we're here for another football review. This time we're heading in for a special day with Wembley. Now I've been to the new Open Wembley back about, what, nine, ten years ago, the new Wembley Stadium. I've been twice with two different teams. I've been following my dad who supports Bolton Wanderers who went when they played in the FA Cup semi-final against Stoke City and also been for the playoff final with Preston in League One a couple of years back. So it's following on in continuous route with the last footballing event we had, which was with Bradford City, which you can check out with the video link at the end of this video. So we'll start first with Bolton when we went. So we travelled down in the car for what was a... 4 o'clock kickoff gates open at 2 o'clock, so those open two hours before in the west end of the stadium. This is for the FA Cup semi final. Now, I'm going to add that the tickets for Wembley are extremely large, a lot larger than any other footballing tickets. That's how big that they are. So, it's a nice ticket, one of the nicest looking tickets I've ever had or seen. So, you'll see it just says there the western approach and eastern approach to this side. Rather simple one end and you have Wembley Way as you walk up basically from one end and you turn right to go to the west and left heading to the east. Rather simple. Now in terms of our day that we went on that day we were based up in block 539 right behind the goal up on uh, the third tier at the top which I'll post a picture just now here of what the view's like. The view actually, because you're up so high, isn't actually that bad, in my opinion. Um, get a decent view of everything that's happening, and I actually like being higher up in the stadiums because you like to get a nice view in what's everything that's happening. So, you know, in terms of actual seating, fantastic. A lovely stadium, lovely architecture. Uh, atmosphere's a bit flat in there, I thought, but... Yeah, Bolton got beat 5-0. Maybe that was why the atmosphere was flat around us. And it, if you are up there, it's worth noting that if the opposition score and you see the fans celebrate, you'll see the ball hit the net and maybe a second or two later, you'll see everyone jumping up first and then one or two seconds later, you'll hear the sound of everyone celebrating. Rather amusing, but wasn't amusing that we saw it uh, four times and we left on the 72nd minute. It went that bad. And then there was another one when we went going back to the car park. Now, parking around there, I think, I think it's a tenner. Expensive. London prices. Plenty of places to park. Though. We didn't park with the official Wembley parking. We parked just right near the stadium. Literally a two-minute walk away from the east side of the section. Um, that's pretty much the day. I mean, we drove down. Uh, the M1 was closed that day, so we headed down on the M6. And traffic was really busy. I remember seeing a load of Stoke fans when we went. Uh, in all the service stations and everything. Um, Dad caught up, the Bolton coach got beeped at, but have you been to London if you've not been beeped at? Uh, that was about it. Uh, I think the day was pretty wasted. Felt like wasted 200 plus pounds of our money. But, you know, it was nice to be home uh, before, not, not even late. Uh, I think we were back before 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, if you're buying a concession ticket, which is student tickets or uh, anyone under the age, I think, of 18, then it writes concession. Now, this is worth noting, This I don't think this happens anymore, particularly when I've looked at everyone else's tickets. Tickets then were £30 for the FA Cup semi-final. I think they're about 40 quid now, onwards to about 80 to £100. So, overall, the day in the stadium's really nice. I'd probably give the day a two. It got hammered, you know. It's very depressing going back. Really depressing, like really not nice. So we'll uh, we didn't have anything to drink or anything. It's just a typical like family day out. Me, my brother, and my dad at a football match. Uh, it's a shame the result didn't go that uh, the way that we wanted, but never mind. We did have a happier time. Now moving on to the playoff one with Preston. Yeah, the ticket is rather large. Uh, the ticket doesn't look as nice as the FA Cup one, but it's still a nice ticket. Again on the back there still looks the same Wembley Stadium uh, this price again was £30 for the ticket but I was on concessionary rate so £40 I think they're the same price as FA Cup semi-final this is for the League 1 playoff final I think the £10 more expensive for the Championship I think don't add me on that both tickets are 
barcoded so you got to put them into the bar reader like that and it enters into the stadium the concourse is absolutely huge uh, at Wembley plenty of uh, places uh, for you to buy drinks and everything that's available now with the playoff one we had a little bit more time on our hands it's just me and Aaron that went this time so we drank outside the stadium there's a big massive burger van uh, we got there about three hours early, but it took an hour for the coach to park up because we were going to head it because we're in the west end, west end of the stadium again. We we're going to head to the Green Man Pub, which is the biggest recommended pub for anyone in on the west end. So I really recommend that, and was looking forward to going there, but we ran out of time and we ended up queuing for about 30 minutes at this burger and alcohol van and got our own drinks there. Uh, at like this little fun section, and it was actually a real good laugh there, a real top atmosphere. Everyone was having a good time. Uh, then we entered. We had a look around the stadium. I'll post pictures up here, by the way, of everything throughout the day that I'm talking about. And then went into the stadium. The concourse is nice and big. Very steep and expensive in there. Not steep as in high, but steep as in the price. Uh, I think it was eight fifty for a hot dog and a pint of Carlsberg. Really expensive. Um, so weird stuff happening. Uh, there was people snorting cocaine off <laughs> the toilet seats in there. Yeah, um, pretty rough. The area is pretty rough at Wembley, but yeah, I think people are just trying to enjoy it. It's pretty uh, football for you. Uh, this time we were sat in the section on the first tier, right near the corner flag in block 131. Um, we were sat on the end of the row, it was great. Uh, Preston won 3 0 at half time, won 4 0 in the match, so dominating. Preston got promoted. Was all dead happy because Preston didn't get automatic promotions, missed out on the last day after losing and Milton Keynes donned winning. So the match was a later kickoff. This was a 5.30 kickoff on a Sunday because the FA are dicks and like to make, you know, we're travelling from far out and thought they'd make it a nice late kickoff. So thanks for that one. We didn't get back till like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. We had to walk through a park to get back. Pretty strange. Never mind. Um,. I think that was about it. We had a top day. Um, in terms of the stadium and the view, I did prefer the one on fifth tier rather than on first near the front. Um, the area's rough. The stadium's lovely. It's really nice to look at. It's all surreal when you get there. I found on fifth tier it was very surreal, but maybe that was because it was my first time and I'm a little bit biased. I don't know. We went on the coach, supporters coach, so it was pretty rubbish going there and it was pretty rubbish getting back. Took forever to park up. Took forever to leave. Uh, if Preston had lost, this would have been getting a 1, it would have been worse than the Bolton one. It only got a 2 because we were nice and quick back. The M1 was reopened and we got home a lot quicker. The M1 was dead. Dad liked it. Uh, but we did have a lot of dr more drinks uh, in the uh, one with Preston. So we did enjoy that day. So I'm going to have to give that a first. 10 out of 10. Absolutely lovely. If you've not been to Wembley Stadium and your club gets there and you can get tickets, go really do go i wouldn't head there for an england match i'll be honest with you um only if it meant something and like we'd not got anything to do and we fancied like a, a weekend in london or something and we wanted to do something then i would but uh, i'm not a real fan of friendly matches i'm not a real fan of nothing matches and stuff and i just see it as a waste of money if i'm completely honest with you i'd much more rather pay for go on holiday or something go go somewhere nice somewhere that i've never been before rather than waste money on going to see a pointless match with England. I do wish, I'll take this moment, I do wish England would go around the country and visit different stadiums, because then it'd be nice to go and watch them, rather than shelling out and travelling and spending a load of money to watch an off-in match. So, um, but I feel like they're just trying to get money for, to justify them paying a load of money to do Wembley Stadium up. But it's really nice at Wembley, so if you want to head there, do head there. Like I said, if your club gets there, then and you can get tickets do go because in my opinion there's nothing better than seeing your team win at Wembley I'm sure everyone can agree with that so don't forget to leave your likes uh, and subscribe because there'll be more football reviews coming up uh, this time we're heading to the championship and we're going back to Sheffield in the next one as we're heading back to Hillsborough for another good day in Sheffield so don't forget to look out for that video so I will see you for that one so this has been JSGC 171 have a good day all Peace. Ciao for now.